previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. I gotta have a driver. No amount of convincing could get Bubba behind the reins of a chuck wagon. There's no chance, no. So Cody found a driver. <laughs> yeah, all right, Cody, I reckon we passed the test there. Who led Booger and Cody to victory. There we go. With the Cowboys away at the races, the wives took on ranch duties. Dakota, you see that one? Her eyes bad. And handled a pink eye emergency that could have spelled trouble for the new herd. Who'd have thought we were gonna get a cow with a bad eye? And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way, the guys get back from the chuck wagon races only to come home to a problem. We got a little problem. Y'all cows are over here, been over here for a couple days. I have got to yeah. get them off the ground today. And a problem heifer that turns an easy job into a hard one. Get around there. The guys check on the state of the cattle market at the Montgomery Stockyard. When I was at the sale barn the other day, you made me think, why don't I just go to auctioneering school? Booger gets inspired to pursue a new skill. Got a little one dollar now to get it back. I got here one dollar. Anybody get here? Yeah. Got one dollar. Got it right here now. Two dollars. Yeah. You got some nice cattle, and you got some even better cowboys looking after you. I don't know about the cowboys yet. Local rancher Brett Dalrymple checks in on the cowboys to make sure they are handling his investment. She just didn't look good. Well, it wasn't really going to feed yeah. either, I noticed. Yeah, it wasn't going to feed. And gives the guys a report on their progress. I think the cattle look really good. Yeah, they're just about 50 pounds behind where it ought to be. Y'all doing a hot day, guys? Yes, sir, Mr. Mark. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. We got a little problem. Y'all cows are over here. Been over here for a couple days. I just need to get them moved. We're going to be planting cotton here. It takes a while to get this land ready, and y'all put me behind the eight ball a little bit. I have got to yep. get them off the ground today. While we were at the chuck wagon races, we had some cattle get out. They wind up getting in our neighbor's pasture, Mr. Mark, and he was kindly enough to call us and tell us to get these cattle out, but they're holding him up. When we took this deal on with Brett, we went in at 110%, but the problem with that is, our cattle have been getting neglected. We haven't been checking our own fences. We haven't been tending our cattle like we should. And that goes to show you why they landed in another man's field. Well, how many head is it, Mr. Mark? About 28 to 30. I understand, bud. Well, we appreciate you calling us. Yeah. Sorry. We've been out of town and everything. We didn't know. Well, y'all been good neighbors and all. This yeah. very seldom happens, but it's happened. I just need it fixed right. today. Sorry to hold you up. Well, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let me know if I can help you anyway. Right, Y'all help me out. Yeah. Thank you. The plan to get these cattle out of Mark's field is to bring our set of roll pins over here, set it up in the middle of the field, drive these cattle into the roll pins, lock them up, load them up, and haul them back to our pasture. This tall grass is going to be tough for Johnny and Boogie and all them dogs to be running through. But let's just ride around this pasture and see if we can find them cattle, and we'll just come back. That fence ain't hot, so we're going to have to be easy with them and just try to crawl them down. Let's just act like it ain't there, you know, kind of keep them off of it. Okay. And we'll just put them up here and put them in the pens. Let's go get them found, boys. Yeah. All right, let's get after it. It's harder to get cattle gathered up out of this grass. The grass is real tall. It's kind of hard to see them, not counting the dogs can't run in these cattle. And we haven't had time this year to really get these yearlings dog broke. We don't have much. There's an old electric fence that's not even hot on this place. So there's really nothing that's keeping these cattle confined. So everything's pretty much stacking up against us. Oh, you hanging it on up here inside, boy. Push up, Gerlin. Get hit, get hit. These Gerlins, they ain't really wanting to be cooperative. I mean, one goes and takes off. She ain't wanting to stay in the bunch. There ain't but one thing left to do. That's get a rope on her and just drag her in them pins. There's an easy way, and there's my way. Get around there. He gets it. One of y'all watch the herd. One of y'all run. Give me a hand. Pull her out. Pull her in the pen, Harris. Pull her in the pen. Yeah. All right. 
Let me get my horse out of the pen. I'll bring them gates if you'll leave it in there. Let me open this right here. Watch it, watch it. Here she comes, there. Here she comes. Get ready. Johnny. Hey, Ernest. Hey, Ernest. Johnny. 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 Oh, baby. Okay, right behind you, Harry. This heifer's fat, hot, and aggravated. And she's not even wanting to cooperate once we get her in the pens. We've got to get her in a smaller pen, shut her up. That way we can go back and pin the rest of the cattle that Bubba's holding up. Walk right here, cattle. Walk in that pen. You see it? Oh, dang it, they're balling up on that pen. We've got to get back over and let Mr. Martin know that we've got everything under control. We're sorry them cattle got in his property, and we're not going to let it happen again. At least we hope not. Hey, we had them cattle dogs broke for today. Things would went a lot easier. I know that's right, man. Hey, Mr. Mark. Hey, Mr. how y'all? Did y'all get it took care of? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once we got the cattle sorted, we go back and see Mr. Mark and assure him this won't happen again. We've got all the cattle caught up. We're going to have a trailer come around here and load them all. Good deal. So I can get in here tomorrow and do yes, my work now? Absolutely. You can come yes, in there sir. right now if you need to. I mean, they're in a little old lot in the corner. We're sure sorry about that. Hey, yeah. no problem, guys. Uh, thank you, y'all. Hey, thank, thank you. Thank Appreciate you calling us, letting thank us know. You. Yes, sir, buddy. We go back and apologize to Mr. Mark for the problems that we had of letting our cattle get out. And we let him know that it won't ever happen again. We've got to make sure that we start tending our own cattle just as much as we do Brett Dalrymple's cattle. Well, that went pretty good. Yep. Oh. We've done some traveling today. Hey, we've been spending all that time down there at Brett's. Taking care of all his cattle and everything. We've been working on that barn. We His cattle, the barn, and we're neglecting our own cattle. Have you talked to Mr. Brett lately? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. He, uh, he actually wants me to pick him up and take him around the pastures. Let him look at all the cattle that we partnered on. Mr. Brett wants to come by and check on all of our progress, make sure everything's up to snuff. And you know, it's very important that Mr. Brett's pleased because this whole deal is riding on us doing our job. And our half of the job is the labor. We've been doing a lot of it. I just hope Mr. Brett's satisfied. I think he'll be happy with him, but yeah. you never know. Brett Downripple's hard to please. Bubba, I'm glad you're gonna be showing Mr. Brett them cattle. I got a lot to do, man. We're finally moving the cattle off our place to some lease land, because we're after for being there four years. We're finally planting permanent pasture. Well, what you gonna plant on it? The hay grass. It's about all that'll grow good. Yeah, it'll work. You can get it to come up. Yeah. And also, I'm writing a book. How long you been working on it for? Long time. About 28 years. <laughs> 28 yeah. years. I'm not the best. I can't sit down somewhere and write. So I'm hiring me a ghostwriter. You've completely lost me. You know how I get to talking and ranting and raving? Mm-hmm. All right, she's taken that and weeded it down to where it actually makes sense. Get what I'm saying? So hey, she's she taken took all, what you said. And made it make sense. Well, she's talented. She's good. Well, Cody, as much as I like to sit here and listen to this whatever, this is my last free afternoon for a while, so I'm going to go spend it with my beautiful wife. There you go. All right, we'll guys, see y'all later. Y Let us know how it goes with Brett. I sure will. Hey, babe. Howdy. What's wrong? I'm give out. You look exhausted. Well, we had some cattle get out while we've been gone. Honestly, we dropped the ball, you know. We've just been so busy with Brett and that business deal we got going on with him that we've failed to look after our own cattle and check our own fences. And that's just what it was, but... It's not a big deal. We gotta handle them. But got a lot going on, you know, just constantly. I know. Just. Yeah, I know one thing, you're always on that phone. I'm trying to keep up with the market right now. Is it changing that much? It changes every day. It's not where it needs to be right now with the deal we have going on with Brett, so. If you invest in stocks, you check the stock market. If you invest in feeder cattle, you check the feeder cattle board. The board has been fluctuating a lot lately and not up been going down. Brett's worried about the market himself, just like we are. And on top of that, he wants to go ride with me tomorrow and look at all the cattle and see how they're doing, see if they're putting on weight, and you know, see if they're conditioned 
like he wants them. He's black or white. You know, yeah. he's either gonna say, that looks terrible, or that looks great. He's not gonna sugarcoat nothing, so. I just, I just, we got a lot on our plates right now. I can tell that Bubba is stressing, and I know he has to watch the market with the deal going on with Brett, but sometimes you gotta just spend some time with your family. Why don't we just like go take a walk for a few minutes? Well, let's go for a walk then, my lovely, lovely wife. Without the phone. Coming up. You know this auctioneer, he's selling the heck out of these cattle. That's something I can see myself doing. When I was at the sale barn the other day, it made me think. Why don't we just go to auctioneering school? I think it's kind of a crazy idea. As we're riding through the cattle, I noticed one of the heifers needs to be doctored again. She just didn't look good. She's got a lot of saliva coming out of her mouth. We weren't really going to feed either, I noticed. Yeah. I'm hoping Brett's not taking this as we're neglecting his cattle. Today we're heading to the Montgomery Stockyard. This stockyard's been around for a long, long time. You can watch the cattle market on your phone, but to watch what the cash value of the cattle are bringing in the sale is a little more important. We've been doing this cattle deal with Brett for a while now and we're getting all the cattle to gain weight, to sell them off and it's important for me to keep up with the board because Brett put us in charge of this deal. If he has any questions of what the market is today or what it's projected out three months from now, I want to be able to give him the correct answer. You know, this auctioneer, he's selling the heck out of these cattle. And auctioneering is kind of like a song, and you sort of get in rhythm with it. You know, that's something I can see myself doing. My accountant makes pretty dang good money if you're in the right spot. The market's been fluctuating a lot lately, and, and that's making us really nervous because we're invested in these cattle with Brett Dalrymple, and if the board falls out, we're not going to make any money. There's a lot of cattle hitting the market this time of year. We need the market to make a big, strong trend up to be able to make money off this cattle deal. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. girls. Hey, 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 hey. Give her a little bit. Today, Missy's bringing up all of her cows. We're going to work them and get them moved from our place to a lease property so we can plant permanent pasture. There's a lot to be done. You got two. Good job, husband. What is that? Who's coming? Chip. Did he get a new trailer? Chip's my brother-in-law. You know, we go see them a lot, but he's never just showed up before. I mean, I'm trying to think, what did I say? What did I do? Is he mad? Is he happy? Is he sour? Is he good? I mean, he's just kind of like a, a faceless car. Like, you turn over a car and you see a jack, Chip's a car that's blank. You can't tell what he is until you hear him speak. He can be very intimidating because he's just a big old grizzly bear just kind of walking up. And here I am like a little chihuahua. Just... What are y'all doing? We come to bring you a present. We came to deliver you some cows. Well, thanks. I bought a good bit of cattle from my brother-in-law and my sister a few months back to start up Full Moon Cattle. I guess we could take a ride and I might would let you pick up you. They'll be in good hands. Oh, I know that. That's the only reason I considered it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Eli. Hey, I'm Mindy Lee. What in the world y'all out and about doing today? We was on our way to the beach, so I decided to bring Misty's last load. He still owed me a few cows. He decides to drop them off today while they're going to the beach. Well, that's mighty nice of him. I know. You ain't never done nothing that nice for me. Like I said, Misty's last load. <laughs> well, 
What about that grass, Cody? I don't see much grass out there. There's not. It's played out. We're moving yeah. all these cows today. We're going to spray it and burn it, and then we're going to plant some permanent pasture. You got to keep grass in front of cattle to grow well, cow. Look, I know the cows are coming off. So I wanted to graze it down and utilize every square inch of it. I'd rather waste a little grass and let my cows go hungry, Cody. These suckers ain't hungry. Have Look at this mud him? fat. Just... What's he doing? Cody, what's the deal? You always on the phone. Checking the board. It just opened. What you worried about the board for? Mr. Brett wanted me and Booger and Bubba to partner with him on some cattle. So I'm staying on top of my game checking that board every day, you know? What's a seasoned veteran like Mr. Brett doing fooling with a greenhorn like you? <laughs> Look. Like y'all. He's the age. I'm the beauty. <laughs> Here we are weighing the odds on this big cattle deal, Mr. Brett. I mean, the market's up and down. It's got me kind of anxious, nervous. And on top of that, chips over here, you give me a hard time. Family love. Well, let's get them unloaded. Oh, we got okay. there's one more cow to work for. We got to make room for right back in there. Well, let's get it done, Misty. Cody, won't you take these boys and y'all go play? Football or something? That'll be good, babe. We got this. <laughs> Might be a good thing that Cody's going to play with our nephews. Because if the two of them just stay together, it's gonna be the whole time. Come on, let's go. That's right where he needs to be, Misty, with the boys. Let's get these gals. We don't need no <laughs> greenhorn telling us what to do. Hey, Matthew, you wanna help mommy? Yeah. You can stir the chicken salad, okay? Okay. Thanks. You know how I'm always walking around trying to be an auctioneer? Mm, yeah. When I was at the sale barn the other day, it made me think, why don't I just go to auctioneering school? I feel like I already have an advantage to become an auctioneer because I'm in the cattle business. I know what the market prices are. I know what different cattle are. So that's already half the battle right there. So you have to go to school for that because you've done it ever since I've known you. Well, I really probably ain't doing it right if I have truth be known. I just really? Kinda, I just do what it sounds like. It's kind of like a parrot. He's really not talking. He's just repeating what he hears. With everything we're involved in right now, and how busy you are. You really want to take on a whole new, a whole new thing? I don't know, it's just an idea. You know, we got all these cattle turned out with Brett right now, which is a big investment, but hey, we ain't drawing a check till we sell these cattle. We hope we make money, but you don't really know at this point. A lot of people went broke thinking they was fixing to get rich. I think it's kind of a crazy idea, but I'm all in favor of any additional paycheck brought into the house. I mean, it, you seem like you've got a knack for it, and I think you'll do well. Shoot, girl, I'll sell anything from a steamboat to a billy goat. <laughs> hey, Matthew, how much would you pay for a billy goat? $44.89. $44.89 $44 for, for a, a billy good billy goat. goat. I support Booger wanting to do something new. I mean, it's a pretty good idea because he does this auctioneer babble all the time. Try to auction off this piece of celery to Matthew. <clears throat> Yeah, Matthew, look right here, ladies and gentlemen. We got this fine piece of celery. Well, what do you see now? Where do you want to start at? I don't even know what celery is worth. Two dollars. Uh, two dollars for celery. Two and a half. Anybody right here on two and a half? Come on down. Let me see. You got a two and a half. Oh, uh, yep. Whoa! We got two fifty down to two seventy five. Anybody? Hey, three dollar Matthew, you're in there for three dollars. Hey, sold it right here three dollars. See, right there, I already made money right here in the kitchen. Two dollars. Anybody? Whoa! We got it right here now, two and a quarter. Got me a new pad, Brett. Try it out. Sharp looking. We've been taking care of these cattle for Brett for a while now, and he wants to go out and look at the cattle with me, and I'm gonna give him the progress report. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous. All the cattle look good. We had not had any sickness, you know? We've had to doctor a few in here and there, but all in all, everything's been good. I know Brett. He's a hard man to please. And if he's not pleased with the way we've been taking care of his cattle, then he could cut this deal short. You've been looking at the market? I have, I have, and uh, you know, it's been spiraling down just slowly but steadily for the last month, but yesterday we had a little good news. It got back in the green a little bit, so that's um, helped help my feelings out just a little bit. I swear it does this this time every year. It'll be up, and then it'll drop way on down, and then it'll start easing back up, you know, and gets everybody nervous, but you gotta have faith, Britt. It's gonna work out. You got, a, you got a nice ranch, you got some nice cattle, and you got some even better cowboys looking out there, so. Well, thank you. I don't know about the cowboys yet. That's still up in the air, but so far, so good. As we're riding out to the cattle, Brett's expressing to me all these concerns he has with the feeder market board. And I'm trying to reassure him that everything's gonna be fine, but at the same time, I'm worried about the board too because we all need a paycheck. And we might not get a paycheck if this feeder board keeps running down.
They look pretty good, don't they? They fool. They are mighty, mighty calm. They got it, they, they figured it out though. I think they're ahead of schedule. Like I said, it usually takes me at least two weeks to get them to this point. Yes, sir. We're gonna ride horseback through all the cattle that we have. He's gonna get to see how broke they are. They're broke to the horses, broke to the feed truck, and they're starting to get some really good condition on them. As we're riding through the cattle, I noticed one of the heifers needs to be doctored again. I actually doctored this heifer last week, and I'm hoping Brett's not taking this as we were neglecting his cattle. We're not, it's just sometimes, some cattle need more medicine than the others. She just didn't look good. You know, she's got a lot of saliva coming out of her mouth. And, as you obviously can tell, they ain't quite right. Everybody else is walking around with her head up, you know, alert, and this calf right here was hanging to the back. Well, it wasn't really going to feed yeah. either, I noticed. Yeah, it wasn't going to feed. That's the first sign of them not feeling well. I think he caught this in on time. I think she'll have a new spirit about her tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you ready to turn her out? Yes, sir. Gates are ready, and we'll send her about back out in the pasture. Let her go. Hey, hey. On to the next pasture, bud. I'm looking forward to seeing the next ones. Coming up. They look good, don't they? Turning that grass into beef, huh? And hopefully turning that beef into money. This is a lot of fun, but we ain't doing it for our health. Come on, mamas. Watch your back, Misty. I know, I'm right in your way, I'm sorry. Chip's here and he's helping me work my cows. My sister Mindy, she's just enjoying her day because it's her birthday. Cody, he's just gonna go have fun with the nephews. How you like those, Misty? Mm-hmm. They definitely got what it takes, don't they? That dang Cody, this is a safety hazard. You gotta pick things up. Not even tied, dang safety hazard. Cody and Chip have like this tough love thing that they do with each other. They're constantly giving each other a hard time, but they're always calling one another just to see what they're doing. These are high dollar kettle, you gotta take good care of them. Don't you step on my toe. Let's go, girls. Hey, Chip, you want me to bring them? Bring them, Misty. Come on, girls. Hey, 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 hey. Turn around, come There we go, Chip. Come on now. They thought they were going to the beach. I might take them with me. Sure hate letting them go. All right, girlfriend. Well, it's good timing, so go ahead and get them work. Any critiquing you can do for me? Main thing is keep grass in front of these kettle. I see y'all very short on grass. We're working on that, though. But you gotta get a game plan. You gotta be able to see ahead. And don't ever let them run out. You gotta stay ahead, ahead, ahead yeah, of them. Yeah, okay. Chip is a phenomenal person to ask about the cattle business. He's already had his fair share of downs and ups. He can tell me exactly how to expect something, how to stay in front of an issue, and how to prevent things from happening. Chip, she needs a backup beeper. Wide load. <laughs> She's big. That's the way I want them to look when I come back and check on them. <laughs> I really feel like I got some valuable help from Chip today. It never hurts to have a different perspective from someone who's so experienced. That's <laughs> all of it. Well, I take Brett over to the next pasture over and these cattle, they're already conditioned. They're putting on weight, they're looking really good. We haven't had any sicknesses with these cattle. And they're on the fast track to meeting that 750 pound mark. They look good, don't they? They are sure putting on the weight, ain't they? Turning that grass into beef, huh? And hopefully turning that beef into money. That's what the game is. This is a lot of fun, but we ain't doing it for our health, for sure. There's 177 head in this bunch right now. This last group of heifers, they're on their way to making that 750 pound mark. And that's good and all, but if the board doesn't get to where it needs to be, the cattle can look good all they want to. But if we can't sell them for a profit, 
All this was done for nothing. I need to be making tracks and get on back to the row crop side of things. Well, that's fine. Let's, let's go load up, and I'm going to continue to look at the rest of the cattle. Sounds good. business today is to get these cows on the trailer. They got to go to our lease land because we got to plant some permanent pasture at our house. All right, got them all in, Misty. Yeah. Good job. Everything's done. We just got to get this last load to the lease property. I'm proud of you. I'm whooped. I need some more muscle. <laughs> muscle, that was hard work. <laughs> He's getting it done. What y'all two do? Well, here Admiring he comes. Admiring all of our work we huh? did today. Here he comes. His one good ear must have been ringing. It was, boy, it's buzzing. When I pull up there, old Chip says, boy, your ear must have been a ringing. That means he must have been talking about me. Now, I know if Chip was talking about me, it had to have been good. I bet they're ready to go to the beach now. Yes. Tighten up, Cody. The job's not done yet. All right, I'll get them hauled. Hey, no. I want to take them. She's get probably them more up. fit for the job in here. <laughs> hmm. Give me a shift. I go. Mindy Bye, guys. Lou. Bye. It has been so much fun having Chip, Mindy, and the boys here today. I really wish they lived closer. Go get the birthday party right. set up, huh? Let's go. Come on, Cole. Let's go to the beach. All right, boys, let's go. Today was incredibly fulfilling. All the cows are here now. They all have my full moon mark. They're all on a big green pasture. This is a really good day for full moon cattle. Coming up. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she says butter's better. Eddie bought some Betty Botter. Cattle looking all right to you? Yeah, or? they fair to Midley. Fair. 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 Yeah. We want to hear good. Today is a big day, a day I've been waiting for. This is my first day of auctioneering school. I think the easiest part of being an auctioneer is gonna be the talking part. Heck, my granddaddy talked to a pine tree if he'd listen. It's in my genetics. The drills we're going to go through here in our auction school are the ones that are used to develop the lip muscles and the tongue muscles for your chant. It's important on a long auction, that's when you get tired. And if you aren't still clear, nobody knows what you're saying. If they don't know what I'm saying, they don't bid. The best warm-up drill we have if you're getting ready for an auction is the Betty Botter. And we're going to go over and over and over and over that till your lips get a little numb. All right, let's try. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she says butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, make my butter better. So she bought a bitter, better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made a bitter batter better. So she's better. Betty Botter bought a bitter, better butter. Betty Botter bought some. Come on! It's just okay to keep rhythm with your head, but something has to come out of your mouth. Too, right? Betty bought some. Betty Botter bought some bugger. Betty Botter bought some bugger. Ah, she ain't buy no booger. So she <laughs> bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter. Betty bought some better butter, set, put it in her bitter batter. Now, baby, Betty bought her bought some better butter. Better Betty bought her bought a better better butter. Well, you guys did pretty good with that, huh? You guys ready to do an auction chant? Now that we learned all of our lip warm ups, Mr. Sam's gonna have us come to the front of the class and actually try to auctioneer. We've got to learn our own chant. Not two auctioneers sound the same. So let's start it off with five dollars, five dollars, anywhere. Like yep. Ten, ten dollars, ten dollars. Yep. Twenty. Yep. Thirty. Yep. Forty. Yep. Okay, fifty. Yep. Fifty. We got fifty. Anybody got fifty-five yep. dollars? Fifty-five. You know, I think I'm a little bit more advanced than some of the other people in classes. Obviously, I've already been to auctions before, and I've heard auctioneers auction. All right. Got a little orange. One dollar now to get it by. I got here one dollar. Anybody get here? Yeah. Got one dollar. Got it right here. Now two dollars. Yeah. Anybody here? Got three dollars yeah. now. To got it right here. Four dollars. Yeah. Anybody? Five. Yeah. Ten dollars now. Anybody? Yeah. Here? Eleven dollars. Anybody yeah. here now? Twelve dollars. Yeah. Thirteen dollars. Anybody yeah. got it right here? Fourteen dollars. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty-five. These people with money ain't the problem, these folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really feeling like I'm developing a knack for this thing. And I'm gonna keep going with this because I'm ready to be an auctioneer. Memorize these drills so that you know exactly what the next one is and the numbers, okay? 
It's all homework, and you've been a fun group. It's been a lot of fun working with you, and I wish all of you great luck in your life first. See you tomorrow. Brett, how you doing? Hey, buddy. I appreciate y'all coming by. Ain't no problem. What you got on your mind? Well, I just, I don't know. Just had a few things to talk about. Um, Is everything okay? Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. All right. Right now, we're in Mr. Brett's office, and he's talking about the progress of the cattle. And he's made a complete 180. You know, just the other day, he was happy with what he saw, and now he's not so happy. This could jeopardize the whole thing we have going with him. Cattle looking all right to you? Yeah, or? they fair to Midland. Fair. 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 Yeah. We want to hear good. Well, I do too. That's, you know. Things aren't sounding like we hoped they would. I think the cattle look really good. Yeah, they're just about 50 pounds behind where it ought to be. Just ain't quite up to snuff. I mean, Dakota had the same bunch. He was in the same bunch last year, and he was about 50 pounds ahead of y'all. Do you see some places where we might need to improve? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help, man. I just had to pick on you a little bit. No. Oh, my God. I was looking for a rag to wipe sweat off my brow here. Mr. Brett was just janking our chain, and that's kind of unusual. Mr. Brett's normally real serious, and he don't like to jake your chain much, but it sure makes me feel relieved. I'll be here to tell you that. I was just messing with y'all trying to have a little bit of fun, but I do got a couple things I do want to run by you. Yes, sir. Here a while back, you know, that market was tanking. We was all kind of nervous about the deal. Yes, sir. But I've noticed the last two or three days that board's been moving up pretty good. We talked about contracting a few cattle. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of glad we didn't. Yes, yeah, sir, sure, I agree with you. Yes, sir. I was riding around the other day looking at some of them cattle. I wouldn't mind picking out some of the best of the best of those heifers and, and keeping them for the replacement cows. There's definitely some good replacement heifers in there. You can breed them to the same bull, and your calves will be real uniformed. Do you have a bull? I do not. I need to get one, okay. which presents a problem because most of all these sales around here have just happened. Yeah, the, kind of the season of selling bulls is sort of towards the end of it to over. Yeah, and most everybody I know around here sold out. I've done called to three or four guys I usually use, and they ain't got anything available. Well, Mr. Brett, we can get that handled. That won't be a problem. We ain't gonna let you down. I know you wouldn't. If I, if I had any doubts, I wouldn't ask you to. If y'all take care of that, I'll just gonna leave it in your hands, and y'all get a game plan out. I gotta go see about a tractor. We got it handled. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, bud. Good see you, Mr. I'm gonna leave y'all with it. If you will, just lock up when you leave. Yes, we sir. We will. The fact that Brett trusts us enough to go find him a bull to put on these replacement heifers, that just tells us that this is another door of business that we can open up with Brett Dalrymple, and that's wonderful to hear. Do y'all have any idea where we need to start looking for a heifer bull at? All the special sales are over. I thought they got one at Montgomery Starkyard. No, Booger, that was a couple weeks ago. Speaking of Montgomery, I got you lined up to sell the sale. Sell the sale? Yeah. To my him? Sell. Auctioneer. Sell cattle. Yeah. Auctioneer. How'd you do that? Man, I know everybody at the Cattlemen Association. Everybody. Are you playing a trick on me? I give you my word. I give you my word. I got you lined up. Okay. I'll call them back. I really appreciate Cody getting me a spot so I can sit up there at a real auction and start selling cattle. But at the same time, whew, man, that kind of puts a stress on me right there. Heck, I don't know if I'm ready to get up in front of all them people yet. I mean, this is the real deal, but hey, at the same time, you gotta start somewhere. I believe Cody. He's got you lined up. You better shake my hand. I'll make a phone call right now. Take his hand now. I just wanna see how long he'd hold it up there. You mean telling me the truth or not? You're gonna be an auctioneer. I'll go home and practice. I'll look for a bull and practice some auctioneer. Like, hello, hey, how you doing? Looking for a good heifer bull now. And then you get to talk to me now. What do you tell you? Here you go. Are you still on the phone? 3,500, 4,500. Talk to me now. What do you want to get for him? Hello. Click. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Coming up. Let's get this auction started. 400. I got a 2,400. Oh, got it right here now. 24 right here. 2,475. Got it right here. 2,500. Ah! Oh. Wow. This on you. Hey, baby. We look right here with some sows we're dealing with, boys. Pillars, what we got? What are we dealing with now, boys? This right here's a good set of fine mammals. I gotta get my tongue loosened up. In just a couple days, I'm gonna be heading to the Montgomery Stockyard where I'm gonna be the auctioneer at the local cow set. So I've got to practice being an auctioneer. Look here, we're gonna sell these Bremer cows. You wanna buy some cows? Yeah. Matthew, you wanna buy you some cattle? I'm not Matthew. Who are you? Mr. Shorty. Oh man, I don't know if I can if I can bid against Mr. Shorty. He's a big time cattle rancher over here. Occasionally Matthew turns into Mr. Shorty. I don't know where it came from. I have absolutely no idea. I'm not really even 100% sure who Mr. Shorty is to Matthew. But from what I gather, he is an old man and he's a farmer. 
All right, Mr. Shorty. Hey, you interested in buying some good white Bremer cattle? Yeah, I need those Bremer cattle. I'm thinking I need them a little bit more than you need them, Mr. Shorty. They look good. I need someone to pick these cattle up. I need to call them. Whoa, 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 Mr. Shorty. You haven't bought these cattle yet. Don't go calling a truck. You better watch out because here comes a high skipper. That must be some cowboy lingo I don't understand. All right, let's get this auction started, people. What do you say? Here we go. All right, now, $2,250. Come on now, what do you say? $2,250. Anybody? Bit, bit, bit. Oh, got it right here now. $2,300. Now, I got it right here. $23 and a quarter. $2,400. Now, I got it back at $2,400. Oh, got it right here now. $24 right here. $2,475. Got it right here. $2,500. Woo, bring it up. I got $2,500. Yep. You say anything here? $75. Now, I got it right here. $2,600. Got it right here. Got it right here. $2,600. I'm in. Oh, he's in. I'm in. I got $2,700 now. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it's selling right now. Do I got 2700 now? Do I got 2700 Going once, going twice. I'm out. Woo! $2,700. Sold right there to the man in the big hat. All right, get in, say, who? You know, ma'am, man got pockets as deep as his, it's kind of hard to compete with. I know, I couldn't go any further. I can tell Booger learned a lot in auctioneer school because I can tell he's using some techniques out here, and I think he's doing a pretty good job. You know, Booger, I think you might have a knack for this. Well, thank you. What do you think, Mr. Shorty, about time to go load these cattle up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you paying with cash or check? Cash. Now that I'm putting on this auction with Jacqueline and Matthew, I think I'm really doing a good job. Heck, I'm ready for the next step. All right, buddy, come on. You, you want to hop in over here with me? Uh, I'm hopping with my mom. OK. Come on, big boy. Get in. Mr. Shorty, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's right, man. Cody. Hey, lady, how are you? I'm good. Over the last couple of days, I've endured a lot. I've had my brother-in-law come by and Nick pick me about my grass. Mr. Brett, well, thought he was mad at me. Now I finally get to sit and talk to someone who actually wants to listen. Well, she don't want to listen. She's getting paid to listen. But nonetheless, she's going to listen. Well, what's up? Well, we're halfway done with the book. Halfway done. Yeah? I'm excited. Are you? Yes, very. I feel good very. about it. Yes, ma'am. I think it's going to be a good book. Well, Miss Ashley comes to me and tells me the book's halfway complete, it's surreal to me because this is something I've wanted to do for a while. Whether or not somebody reads it besides myself, now that's a different story. But I'm really excited. You know, Miss Ashley, I meant to call you and tell you that email you sent me the last couple chapters that really, really, really touched me. Well, I mean, good. That's... Well, you stepped up your game, and you know, Cody, those are your words. Yes, ma'am. That's I'm just... so cool. I'm just putting them together for you. We need to start talking about a title, and we need to start talking about cover art. I've got a few titles in mind, and I've been kind of on the fence on all of them because I want the title to be what people remember. So I don't want it right. too long. I don't want it corny. I don't want, want it. Well, we'll work on it. Yes, I'll think about it also. Well, Miss Ashley's telling me how I need to think about the title of the book and the cover art and stuff like that. A lot of things are resonating in my mind, and one of them is one thing that cowboys are known for, and that's their word. Their word is their bond. And I think that that needs to be in there somewhere because that really states who a cowboy is. I think we're going to be able to wrap this up in a couple of weeks yes, and send it off to publication. That's so cool. All well, right, ma'am. Thank well, you. that'd be great. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome so to much. see you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Tell ma Misty and Carter hello. I will. Thank you. Okay. Woo! Coming up. Everybody's getting here, and these seats are starting to fill up. I don't know if I'm ready to get up in front of all them people yet. Check, check. All right, look at here now. Today's a really big day. Here I am in the Montgomery Stockyard, and I'm going to be the auctioneer for the day. I'm feeling really nervous right now, so I got here early to the stockyard. I got to kind of imagine what it's going to be like with all them people looking at me, and I'm sitting right in the center. When you take that chair, you talk about a nervous man. Betty Bosco Butter Bush said her butter bitter. If she put it in her batter, make her batter bitter. This is a big deal. All eyes are on me. If I mess up, it's my fault. That dang booger. 
He told us he'd be here auctioneering, and here we're fitting to walk in and watch him. Well, it ought to be good, because you know he likes to talk. Yeah, that's the truth. I know Booger's been going to auctioneer school, and he's been bragging about how great he is, but hey, now it's time to put your money where your mouth is. You know, everybody's getting here, and these seats are starting to fill up. I don't know if I'm ready to get up in front of all them people yet. I'm about to take my seat in the auctioneering chair. And I noticed Cody and Bubba's out there in the crowd. And I think that's pretty good of my friends. That way they'll come give me some good moral support. All right, check one, check two, check, check. All right, good to see everybody out here today now. What do you say? I tell you what, I've known Booger a long time, and that boy is nervous. He's shaking like a leaf on a windy tree. When you take that seat and that first cow walks out, and you know this is the real deal, but ain't no better way than to get on out there and get your feet wet. All right, look at here now. What do you see? To get a dollar fifty now. I got a dollar fifty. Anybody? Anybody? Dollar fifty. Anybody? Dollar fifty. Anybody? Dollar fifty right here. As the auction starts and Booger starts running that mouth, I'm impressed. He's doing really well. Dollar fifty one. Dollar fifty two. Dollar fifty three. Right here now. Dollar fifty four. Anybody will come here. Dollar fifty four. Anybody will come to me now. Anybody else? Dollar fifty five. Once you sell about three or four cattle, then you're rolling, son. You know you're in the driver's seat. You're the captain of this ship. It's like singing a song that don't ever end. Man, things are getting easier and easier and easier. $1.30 now. $1.30. Well, once old Booger's up there and he's auctioneering for a while, starting to get comfortable, me and old Bubba style, we're going to start a bidding war. Kind of throw him off his game. <laughs> I thought Bubba and Cody was here to cheer me on, but they're sitting up there just messing with me. They're not here to buy no cattle. They're just trying to make me work harder for the money. All right, that concludes the sale today. Thank you very much for coming, folks. Hope to see you next time. You know, this is my first auction, and I've done pretty doggone good. I think this is something I can keep going on with for a long time. Speaking of, there he is. Golly. Son, I'm proud of you. you hey, good job, man. man. Good, job. <laughs> good job. That was awesome. Good lord. You've been I'll practicing have... a lot of that, ain't you? Yeah, I've been practicing. First four or five, I'd say you was a little, you'd tell you was a little chatter, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when you kind of smooth and right, rolled on out there and that's all really been gotta be fun. Heck, let's roll with it. Let's go. Man. Thinking about doing this for a living now or what? Yeah, I'm game now. Are you? So I went to, I didn't go to school for no reason. Hey, yeah. I knew you had the lungs. And we the knew mouth, you had and the, the mouth. We just didn't know if you had the brain to put it all together. When you put it together, it was dang near magical. Yeah. Whew. Tell you what, that's a workout. Man. I was gonna say, are you winded now? Yeah, yeah this is the least you've ever talked. Usually that thing's going. Nah, 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 nah. Well, it just was. I say, what do you say now? Let's go into the house. What do you think? So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, man. No joke. <laughs>